This tutorial shows you how to install the Population Genetics Software Partition Finder. This tutorial assumes you are using Ubuntu Linux version 20.04 as your operating system. If you do not have Linux, you can emulate it on your Windows or Mac computer for free. See the show notes for details. In fact, I am emulating Linux right now on my Mac computer using VirtualBox. I have a VirtualBox virtual machine pre-configured with the software I will show you today, as well as other population genetics and ecological niche modeling software. See the show notes below for step-by-step -step instructions to download and hook up this virtual machine within your Windows or Mac computer. All links and code you see me use today are in the show notes below. Or, you can skip this whole tutorial if you want, and just download the VirtualBox virtual machine I have created that is already pre-configured, and run Linux in virtualization as a virtual machine. Let's go ahead and get started. First, you need to install Anaconda for running Python. But we need specifically version 2.7 of Anaconda, not the most recent version, which will not work. To download version 2.7, we need to go to the Anaconda Installer Archive, and we need to choose Anaconda 2019.10-linux-x86-64.sh. Click on it, and it will download the program into your Downloads folder. Ubuntu is worried about this file, or rather Google Chrome is worried about this file. Click Keep. Next, we have to open up a terminal window. You can either do that by clicking on the Show Applications button, searching for Terminal and clicking on it, or if you already have Terminal in your favorites, you can just click on it from the side. We need to navigate to our Downloads folder. Next, we need to start installing Anaconda. To do that, we type bash space dot slash and then the name of that file. Check for typos and then hit enter. Press enter to continue. Now you have to hit enter multiple times. Notice that this bar keeps shrinking. When it shrinks to nothing, you've reached the bottom. Or you can hold down on the Enter key. Then you have to answer yes or no. Enter yes to accept the license agreement. Install in the default location by pressing Enter. Now wait for the software to install. During the end of the installation, you will receive this question. Do you wish the installer to initialize Anaconda 2 by running conda init? I selected yes, and everything seemed to work fine. So I recommend selecting yes and hitting enter. Next, you need to type the command export space path equals quote slash home slash I'm going to type the whole thing and then I will explain there's the rest of it uh, don't hit enter it just carried over to the next line because it ran out of space type as you see here you can get this code from the show notes however Replace sample here 
with your username. So whatever your username is that you chose for your Ubuntu Linux account is what will be in here. If you're using my pre-configured virtual machine, then the username will be sample as you see here. But this is the one thing that you will need to customize for your individual Ubuntu Linux machine. Once you have that uh, path set up correctly, as you see here, press enter. Now we have to exit terminal and reopen it to refresh the settings. And now we're ready to download and install Partition Finder itself. Go to the Partition Finder uh, downloads website and click the red download button. Select the second one, source code tard.gz. When the download is finished, open up File Explorer. Navigate to your Downloads folder. Double click on the Partition Finder tar.gz file. Keep your Archive Manager open. Click back on File Explorer, navigate to your home directory, and then navigate to the bin folder in your home directory. If you don't have a bin folder in your home directory, you can create it now. Highlight the bin folder. Highlight Partition Finder from folder from within your Archive Manager. Drag it to the highlighted bin folder. Now let's double click on the bin folder to ensure that it copied. And there it is, we've extracted Partition Finder. So we can close our Archive Manager. Keep File Explorer open and come back to your terminal window. We're going to navigate to the folder where we have Partition Finder. CD space. Come back to File Explorer and drag the folder for Partition Finder into your terminal window to get the path. Then press Enter. To run Partition Finder, type Python lowercase, space, partition with a capital P, finder with a capital S, uh, with a capital F, but no spaces, dot PY, and press enter. This shows you that Partition Finder has been installed and is ready to be used.